think it's going to revolutionize the entire construction industry and in coastal areas. Why? This block is waterproof and termite proof. These six and a half pound blocks, you see how they fit together? Anybody can put them up. Once they're torqued down with those rods, they will withstand 255 mile an hour winds. You get a good solid roof on there with metal shingles or reinforced concrete, you about got yourself a tornado shelter. And it's competitive with cement block or wood stick construction. We're very proud, very proud to have the first building made with this product right here in St. Francisville, Louisiana. And I really hope it helps a lot of people. It's ideal for low-cost housing. We have plans made out of this stuff just for that purpose. We have them made for Puerto Rico. They're going to replace their buildings that were destroyed by the two hurricanes they had a few years back. The block itself is completely recyclable. We can take those blocks apart, move them to another building, add on to it, not a problem. I cannot imagine the decrease in insurance premiums on buildings made with lock and block. Without the destruction, the ability to be recycled, the waterproof, termite-proof properties are unbelievable. There's no waste with this. Any pieces left over, company will buy them back. We'll grind them up, put them in the next batch that goes out. Countries outside of the U.S. have already seen it better than we have. Why do they want this? Not only for the properties I've already covered, but it's a lot cheaper for them than using poured concrete, which they have had to use in the past. They have to import all that. This product, they can make it right there. We can export it to other Caribbean countries. You can go four stories up. You take a concrete block, you press it hydraulically, 2,000 pounds, it will shatter catastrophically. This product will take 6,000 pounds before it slowly deforms like a marshmallow. No catastrophic failure. Again, savings and insurance premiums. Transportation. Six and a half pound block. That's a whole lot lighter than a 35 pound cinder cement block. And I can see it happening in this country little by little. A green recyclable product with these properties is going to be the future for low cost housing that's durable and livable. We all like to leave a world a little bit better than we found it. And this is my way of trying to do that. We started, my brother and I, back in, in 1996, uh, had an idea to, to do something that people could use a block to build with that would be easy to use, uh, do-it-yourselfers could use it, and be able to have a structural, sound, sturdy, you know, build an addition, build a backyard shed, build a garage. Um, that was our vision when we started out. What it's grown into, we didn't realize what we could do with design and material uh, to create something that was not just durable, long-lasting, and easy to use, but extremely strong. A concrete block, uh, according to code, has to test out to an 1800 PSI uh, pounds per square inch strength. Uh, our goal was to, to be as strong as a concrete block. What we've ended up doing is creating a product that's ten times stronger than a concrete block. Uh, one that, because of the composite material that we're using, is not susceptible to bacteria growth, is not susceptible to mold, uh, insects, uh, creatures. Uh, we don't have to worry about them chewing on it, eating it. Uh, and we've done some things in the composite material in, in the properties itself uh, to resist creep, to resist UV uh, rays, to, to not break down in the sun. 
uh, to give us a, an extremely strong, durable product. Uh, as I said, 10 times stronger than a concrete block. And it's something that it, the limitation on it um, is unbelievable. Uh, you know, multi-story buildings, we're not limited to a single story. We're not limited to two stories. Uh, so what we've done, starting out with a product that we wanted to have an individual be able to use to do it yourself, we now have created a product that fits both in the do-it-yourself but also the residential construction, the commercial construction markets uh, that provides a strong, durable product that you could build anything with. The product will withstand the water pressure uh, as the floods are occurring, the pressure against the walls. Uh, we won't have a failure of the wall because of the, the pressure or the flow of water, uh, but it won't absorb water either. So the absorption of any bacteria or any, any uh, growth in the water or just the absorption of water causing breakdown or mold or mildew won't occur on our block. Um, the composite material is not water absorptive so once you peel the cladding off the sheetrock or whatever the siding may be um, you're ready to, to wipe down the wall and, and start your rebuild. There's no drying out process that has to occur. There wouldn't be any uh, toxic cleanup that would have to occur uh, because the, the blocks aren't absorptive and they would just, you would go back into service with it. Uh, there, there'd be no degradation of the block in any way because of the water forces. But the case of lock and block, one of the advantages it is, it's rapidly deployable. Um, from an emergency standpoint where right now you may pass out tents, you may pass out some sort of a, a crude way of, of constructing a, a makeshift shelter for somebody to live in. Um, lock and block can be deployed, could easily be put up to build some small 10 by 10 structures that, that would allow families to have a place to put stuff. Um, rapidly deploy that, get them out there, put them in the field, but that block now becomes reusable. When long-term structures are being built, those short-term structures that you deployed in the emergency situation can now be deconstructed and used in the long-term construction to reconstruct the projects in that in that area. So it's not a one-time spend or a one-time use for that spend. It's a multi-use out of that spend. And even if you use those blocks just to repeatedly have emergency shelter available to people, it's a, a reusable product over and over again. I know in talking with FEMA and, and the way they work with the Red Cross in rapidly deployed situations from hurricanes, they hand out 10 by 10 tents that when the disaster is over with, those tents are destroyed. So it's a one-time spend for one-time use. Our product is, is reusable over and over and over again. Uh, so from a, from a municipality standpoint, from a, a state or, or local standpoint, uh, having your emergency structures built out of it would be, to me, ideal because you, you have a strong, durable structure that's gonna withstand the hurricane force winds, uh, the flooding that occurs, anything that, that from a disaster standpoint, it, earthquake. Uh, where our seismic ratings are off the chart. We meet all categories of earthquake and seismic design categories A through E. So even in areas not like this that are, are earthquake prone, it shows the strength and the durability of our product. So having your emergency shelter built from a product like ours just makes sense. What we do know is it's a product that can be used by anybody. Uh, individuals can build something for themselves that's long-term, sustainable, durable housing. Um, developers that are, are interested in affordable housing projects can use our product to build with and it'll be long-term, durable, sustainable housing. Um, what we've developed, certainly not our intent, but it's a product that can touch every single person anywhere in the world. It has the ability to, to impact everybody on the way housing is built and the way uh, sustainable housing is developed around the world.